You know, it's all about the details when you're setting subway tile. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. It's nice to see the kitchen coming together. Today we get subway tile. So New York comes to Farmhouse Chic. Well, I say New York because that's where we get the name subway tile. You see, there was an architectural firm that was responsible for developing many of the subways in New York in the early 1900s, hence the name Subway Tile. And it's characterized by having a very thin mortar joint, and the tile that we're using is a three by six inch tile, pure white, we wanna keep it really simple. And we're applying the tile along this side of the cabinet, all across the back, it'll stop here, for the range and the microwave, it'll come right on around past the refrigerator, just past where Miguel is working. Now you look over here, you can see it's really coming together. It's gonna to be beautiful. And what he's doing is he's placing these tiles in here and these are preset with a little ridge here, you can see. So he just pops them on there because you get a 1 16th inch space between one tile and the next. These are applied to the wall with a thin set mortar. It's looking good, Miguel. And what will happen here, this little band will just be a piece of that tile, as you can see, cut here with a wet saw. So once all of the tile's in place and it sets, we'll use an unsanded grout to fill in those little narrow 1 16th inch spaces, and we'll be finished. We'll be able to take the paper off the butcher block and we'll almost have a finished kitchen. If you're enjoying these updates on our house, check in regularly. Tell a friend about them and subscribe to eHow Home.